Today's forecast is brought to you by Columbia, tested tough in the Pacific Northwest, where gray is the official sky color. A look at your National Coast to Coast forecast here on this Friday, May 20th, one day away from the full moon, which occurs tomorrow, the full flower moon. But showers and thunderstorms will be found over the southern U.S. again today. And they're also kind of focusing on that northwest storm with pockets of heavy rain here and there that could lead to some isolated flood concerns. But looking ahead through the uh, end of May now, it does appear that the eastern two-thirds of the nation will be a little bit warmer. So there's that marginal threat of severe weather from the Gulf Coast states down into Florida and then from uh, the Colorado uh, front range all the way up into central Montana, marginal threat. Tomorrow, the threat turns into a slight and a snaking out along the uh, front range and the plains on Saturday from the Carolinas down into Florida, another marginal threat. Sunday looks like a fairly decent day with some strong to severe storms up and down the uh, plains from the Dakotas into Texas. Monday, the threat shifting a little farther south than Tuesday, still in the central U.S. So a multi-day severe weather chance coming up as this next storm system begins to slowly push off to the east. It's running into an area of high pressure over the upper Mississippi Valley, so that's why it's not moving terribly fast to the east. But how about this? Some heavy rain moving into the Ohio Valley today, kind of a steady soaking rain over mid-Atlantic states and into uh, parts of the northeast on Saturday. Not a very nice weekend in that particular area. Where it will be nice is the upper Mississippi Valley. Uh, more sunshine down to the southwest, and then again showers and storms starting to move into the central U.S. for the late weekend and early next week time frame. Now, Precip Valley in the northwest, one to maybe two plus inches. Same for the central U.S. and then heavier rainfall kind of shifting out of Texas into the mid-Atlantic states. And still looking at some snowfall potential over the Intermountain West, some uh, six-inch amounts, maybe uh, higher tallies over northern California. But cooler than average conditions looking out through May 25th through the 29th. But the Great Lakes, the northeast, a little bit warmer. Today we're still below average from the mid-Atlantic states on into the midsection of the nation by five, ten degrees or so. And Atlanta only at 70.